Hey there. It's later than I usually shoot a video. It's 5.30. I'm starting a video right now. I just got back from my summer vacation. I just got back from my summer vacation. Uh, I'm a bachelor right now. My wife is still um, enjoying some vacating. Uh, and so I'm staying a little later because, you know, Anyway, um, what I have here is a piece of wood. This piece of wood is going to be, as per the title of this video, my storage for annular cutters. What is an annular cutter? I'm so glad you've asked. I covered them recently on the channel, but in order to talk about annular cutters, I first want to talk about uh, drill bits. So give me a second. Okay, so. <clears throat> oh, wait, one more thing. All right, I've got my teaching aids. Here we go. Let us say you are a maker and you think to yourself, maker, which is a funny thing to say to yourself, but you might say to yourself, maker, I would like to make a hole of a certain size and that size may be an inch and a half, for instance. Now, there are a lot of different ways to make an inch and a half hole in deep material like this. This is not gonna be what I'm making a hole in, but it'll serve to tell the tale. You want to make a two in, an inch and a half diameter hole in this, you have some options. Now, as a beginning maker with access to uh, affordable tools, the first way beginning makers most often drill a hole of that size is using this, uh, a, a, a hole saw. Plumbers, there's many different kinds of these. There's abrasive ones, there's toothed ones. Uh, and it's good to set yourself up with uh, fairly complete system of hole saws. I have a whole drawer of them. Um, very, very useful things. You can cut sideways into steel pipe to make roll cages for your car. Yeah, these things, I, I know I describe them as the like the bottom of the ladder because they're affordable and they're everywhere. They're at every hardware store you want to go to. Well, you've got a pilot drill here, which is not sticking out far enough, but anyway. Uh, but then this is what does the cutting. Unlike a drill, and I've got an inch and a half drill here just to show, uh, but this is this drill works exactly the same way as this drill, so it makes it easier to see. This drill, you can see, goes into a hole, and each of these leading edges acts like a chisel pulling out material. It's a laborious and energy-packed way of, of excavating a hole. Whereas with the hole saw, you are only excavating, you are only doing work in this little profile around the perimeter. So instead of, you know, pi r squared that diameter, you're dealing with uh, the area inside the width of this, like, I don't know, 60 thou, millimeter and a half uh, uh, wide tooth. So this is a great way to make an inch and a half hole. Edge finish, not amazing. The first bit that is the kind of tool that someone has to tell you about, and I know I've said this in other videos on this channel, but it bears repeating, is the Forstner bit. Now, this is a bit that is like, it's just not gonna be in the main aisle at Sears, even though it might be. I swear, these are things that like, when you tell people about them and they haven't heard, it feels like it's come from aliens because these things are amazing. Uh, a full set of Forstner bits is like 30 bucks. And yeah, you could spend a hundred bucks, but frankly, I still don't even need ones that good. I abuse them too much. So I buy the cheap sets to cycle through. Forstner bits are incredible. They make beautiful holes. They're great for uh, pegging furniture together and stuff like that. Um, but a Forstner bit, as you can see, has these chisels. It, it's meant to go through solid stock. It's not meant to widen a hole because it needs, it needs to balance against that point there. And so it also is doing a lot of work to excavate the hole. It can do it, and it's awesome, um, but it is still a lot of work. Enter the annular cutter. John Knoll uh, uh, of Lucasfilm and Mandalorian uh, fame, I mean, special effects genius from decades back, but those are <laughs> recent things. John Knoll is a wonderful machinist and sent me a video recently that said you should, sent me a text a few months ago and said you should know about annular cutters. Now. This is a cutter, as you can see, that operates much like the hole saw, right? It's only cutting around this perimeter. But as you can see, it is a much finer crafted piece of equipment. Um, each of these leading edges 
has a, an edge on it. So the, 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 the surface finish of the hole from an annular cutter is, it's like everything you ever wanted out of a Forstner bit. Now, I am um, profligate in my tool collection sometimes when I'm excited about something. And so I got excited about the annular cutters and I bought a set, which is like six or seven of them. And they were really useful. And then I kept having occasions where I wanted to use them, but I didn't have the right size. So I looked it up and you can buy every size of annular cutter from seven sixteenths all the way to two inches by sixteenths. Yeah, that's... That's pretty amazing. But when you get to this size, they're like 50 bucks a piece. Well, reader, I bought them all. Yeah. I figured I'm always going to have these. I'm going to be so happy to have these. I, I just did a gig. I can afford this. Let's do it. Right? So, yeah, I invested in a, a set of, I can't even, I don't even know what the number is. Twenty-nine of them. We're gonna do twenty-six in this holder because the three big ones are specialty. There's always compromise, um, and I'm about to set this up into the mill and slowly make this into a holder for all of the annular cutters. They will gang up like this, and they will sit in pockets that they made themselves. They will sit in pockets that they made themselves, and that will also protect their edges. It will keep them from getting too dusty. It's a great way to store them. Sorry, that, yeah, there we go. So this will hold 26 of my, 26 of my bits. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I thought I was showing you the drilling of the holes with the antler cutters, but I wasn't. So I drilled the first set of uh, five cutters uh, off camera. Very sorry, very, very sorry, very sorry. <laughs> It's holding them beautifully. That's exactly what I want out of a holder. Solid holding.
Ooh, look at you spinning all cattywampus. Much, much more like what I think you should be doing. Hang on, let's get a view on you. That's way better. Good. Yep. Yeah, you got to do them both. Better. Yes, that's another build. You know what it is. The moment of truth. Hang on. Oh, all right. Sit on my stool, put my tools away. So let's see here. This is me, I make everything slightly too tolerant, too tight. This is satisfying, but it's not even oddly satisfying. It's very explicitly understandable why it's satisfying. things. Oh, I like this. Oh, a little swarf in there.
Yep, they're all retrievable. Dude. Yeah, I'm really happy. I know. These are outside the but that's okay. These are these are rare sometimes foods. <laughs> Come here. There you go. Look at this beautiful pie that I baked. It is using a lot of tool steel and grinding in some very precise ways, but this is mm, 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 like the most beautiful drill set, hole saw ever. It costs a fortune. It's completely worth it to me. I'm very happy about this. Oh, look at that. Slides right in. I made it exactly the size to fit in the door. I'm pleased. Tail sticks. Thank you guys for joining me. <laughs> that was unnecessary. That's just something that I had to do in the film industry. Tail sticks. We'll get to this build later on in the summer. I'm sorry you had to see it and get tempted by it right now, but for right now, it's all just annular gutters. Oh, wow, I can actually see through these. Um, I just, what I, I have three, I have three. Uh, so I'll just make an extra little holder for these three and I'll live there. We're done. I don't need to say anything more. Why am I still talking? It's because I've been away for so long from the camera and I feel like I, I want to keep talking. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs>